Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today you're going to be unboxing and checking out the Telecast X5 Pro tablet. Now this thing is pretty much a clone or a copy of the Microsoft Surface tablet and it looks pretty damn awesome. This thing is 12.2 inches, it's got 256 gigabytes of SSD storage and a brand new Cable Lake CPU. So, let's get right into it. So when you first get the package, it looks like this. It's pretty simple. This thing has quite a lot of heft to it. It feels good. Uh, here's what the side looks like. Here's what the other side looks like, um, nothing much, and finally the back, very simple once again. Alright, so let's unbox this thing. Alright, there we go, we got some nice padding on the back here. And let's put the tablet here aside for a sec. Alright, let's take a look inside. So we got our box compartment right here. Alright, seems like we have a manual that is in Chinese and English, as well as a warranty piece of paper. And finally, a useful reminder about troubleshooting and the QC sticker of whoever tested this thing out and approved it. Got the other box over here. That should be where the charger is. Yep, there we go. It's a pretty uh, large and unique looking charger. And it seems like that is actually it for the box. So we've got some silica gel, and that is it. All right, so let's take a quick look at the charger here. All right, so it's a 12 volt, two amp charger. And in total, if you stretch these out, it will equal to two meters of length. So let's take a look here. All right, check that out. This thing is actually quite heavy, it feels uh, Feels pretty solid. Alright, so first things first, we got a front-facing camera right over there. We got the Windows Home button, as well as two front-facing speakers, one over here, and another one right down here as well. So that is pretty nice. Hopefully these things sound pretty good. Uh, moving on to the side, we got a headphone jack, micro USB port, and volume up and down. These buttons, they feel nice and tactile, they're kind of wiggly, but they feel good. Nonetheless, pretty solid. Moving on to the top, we got the power button seams right over there, and that's it for the top. And on the side, we got some interesting uh, I.O. here, let's take a look. So it seems like we have the USB Type-C, a full-sized USB 3.0, an HDMI Mini or Micro HDMI Out, as well as the AC adapter for charging this thing. So hopefully we can charge this thing, I'll let you guys know somewhere here or in the description if we can charge this thing with a compatible USB Type-C charger. And lastly on the bottom, we have the magnetic connection ports for the keyboard mouse case uh, connector like you see with the Microsoft tablets that look like this. A quick measurement test right there, let's check it out. And this thing is about 1200 grams. All right, there's actually one more thing we haven't checked out and that is the kickstand that is built into this thing that resembles the Microsoft tablet. So, it is magnetic. We got a micro SD card slot right there for expansion, which is really nice. And the kickstand has two positions, one extended like that and the other halfway just like that. And again, the first layout is like this and the second layout is like that for deeper viewing. Alright, let's power this thing up. Alright, so pretty interesting. Seems like we're getting some flickering around here. Let's quickly hook up our Xiaomi mouse over here and take a look at it. Go to display settings and go to display adapter properties and go to monitor and oh okay that is actually pretty damn interesting. This thing is actually running at 63 Hertz. Not 60 Hertz but 63 so you're getting three extra frames per second, which is uh, pretty interesting, and that explains why this thing is actually flickering. All right, so, yep, right there, 63 hertz. All right, so moving on, take a look at the resolution. So right now the scaling is set as 125%. Uh, uh, we can set it back to small and get that uh, nice real estate, but for now, for this camera, we're gonna be setting it for 150%, uh, so you guys can see easily here. The resolution on this thing is technically full HD, but it is running at 1200p or 1920 by 1200. It's just a bigger aspect ratio, so you actually get more resolution than you usually get with the regular 16 by 9 1080p panels. All right, and let's take a look at the C drive here. And yes, we have the 256 gigabytes of uh, storage, but in total we have 221 gigabytes free, and that is really nice to see. Now, uh, let me go fix this uh, refresh rate thing. Set it to 60 hertz so you guys don't get sick. All right, and we are back. As you guys can see, I have fixed the flickering issue by changing the settings on my camera. But as you guys can see, I have changed the background, installed some apps, games, and I have tested this thing out thoroughly. So let's take a look at what this thing can actually do, and what I have found out. First things first, as you guys can see in the task manager here, we are running a dual core hyper-threaded CPU. So we got four threads for processing, and this thing can actually turbo up all the way to 2.4 GHz, which is actually pretty damn impressive for what this thing is. Now what is more impressive is, take a look at the memory here. This thing actually has 8 GB of built-in memory, which is also amazing, because if you're doing work or gaming, you will definitely appreciate the extra memory because if you don't know Intel graphics, they require having fast memory and lots of it because your RAM will be shared between your integrated graphics card as well as your system. 
Now, uh, let's take a look at outside here before we jump into the games and benchmarks and whatnot. First of all, we have the Xiaomi mouse right over here that we are using for, uh, as a mouse, of course, and is running through a USB Type-C to HDMI and Type-C and a 3.0 adapter. So, the Xiaomi mouse is running through USB Type-C adapter right there, so the USB Type-C can become a hub. We will be testing the HDMI in just a bit here. As well, as you guys can see here, we have the Xiaomi mechanical red switch keyboard. There's also hooked up via micro USB OTG cable. And yes, we still have the extra USB port that is a 3.0 on the side where I will be hooking up my hard drive right over here, my four terabyte hard drive that is loaded with my Steam games. So let's see how this thing performs.
Alright, and we are back, so as you guys just saw, this thing can actually play games very well at 720p with very playable frame rates, so that is very exciting and nice to see. Now, let's move on and talk about a couple more things before we end this video. First things first, as you guys can see here, the read writes are actually pretty good for this thing, um, especially the 4K and sequential. Not bad at all for what this thing comes with at this price point. The write speeds, on the other hand, they are a bit low for an SSD, but nonetheless, it will definitely get the job done without any issues at very snappy speeds. And if you guys are wondering what this thing is running for an SSD, it's running a tech class SSD right here. That's the model number if you guys are interested. There you go. Now since we're already here, let's take a look at the network adapters. It does indeed have an Intel dual band AC wireless adapter and that is great because if you have used AC before, you will never go back to 2.4 gigahertz network because all the benefits and the speed and the reliability that it comes with is just great. So if you're doing game streaming from Steam or you're doing in-home streaming or just streaming 4K or whatnot, this thing will definitely get the job done with really reliable speeds. So yeah guys, that's actually pretty much it. Couple more things. This thing comes with a pre-installed screen protector, a matte finish. Of course, if you guys take a look at the beginning of the video, I did get to test out the USB Type-C and no, it does not charge using USB Type-C and it does not support video out using USB Type-C. But if you guys take a look at the Cube Mix Plus, which I have reviewed right over there, this thing does support full USB Type-C speeds and functionality without any issues whatsoever. And it does come with a fantastic keyboard and mouse combination in that package. That is something else meant for something different. But here we have a tablet that stands on its own without having any weird cases coming with it. Now, unfortunately, I did not get my hands on the slipcover with the keyboard mouse built into it for this thing. But from what I've seen, it looks very tiny and it is not very workable. The keyboard and protection might be worth it, but the mouse is definitely not. So for that, I would definitely recommend getting a Bluetooth or a wireless mouse if you're looking for one. There's one right here that I was also checked out right over there, and this thing is fantastic. It's a Xiaomi mouse, and it runs for you Bluetooth or Wi-Fi with the 2.4 gigahertz dongle right over there. So, um, and one last thing actually, and that is the speakers. If you guys heard the gameplay footage, that all was recorded using my external microphone to record the game audio on this thing. The volume is uh, subpar, and the quality as well is okay. It is actually much better than other tablets, but it is nothing to rave about. And that is it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.